water is by far the commonest liquid on earth. Naturally, the shortage of water never arises in our mind. With the advent of the new millennium, water, the most essential component of civilization, might get scarce in many countries. We all know that three-fourths of the earth is water, but only less than one percent exists as fresh water, like streams, rivers, lakes, aquifers and canals, and the rest consists of seawater which mankind cannot use. Owing to the population boom, freshwater demands will continuously be multiplied to cater to a better lifestyle in urban as well as rural areas. Currently, most of the countries around the world are facing water shortages. By 2025, more countries, including India, will be pushed into this dread list if we are not careful and conscious about it. The quantity of water available is not the same everywhere in the world because of irregular rainfall and climatic changes. There are several reasons for the water crisis. First, is the inefficient way in which we use water. Second, irrigation without proper usage and control creates wastage on a prodigal scale. Much of the water trickles away or simply evaporates before it can do any good. Third, we do not save our fresh water stock properly. Forests are important water regulators. Their soil structure acts as nature's sponge, soaking up water and releasing it slowly throughout the year. They contribute to reliable river flow, replenish groundwater supplies, reduce soil erosion, and release moisture into the atmosphere. Since deforestation is on the rise, the sediment washed from the hills clogs waterways, lifts the riverbed, leading to continuous soil erosion and floods. Coastal water pollution in the world's oceans result from contaminants carried there by fresh water. Industrial and municipal pollution continue to pose a significant threat.
the facilities to treat wastewater are not adequate in any city in India. Presently, a bare minimum of the wastewater generated is treated. The rest is discharged as it is into our water bodies. Polluted water is a natural gateway for waterborne diseases. Water-related diseases create human tragedy, killing millions of people each year. Human lives are being put at risk because of arsenic in the water supply. Conflicts can arise, especially where countries with rapidly growing population and limited arable land collide over access to shared freshwater resources. Right on top of the reasons behind the water supply crisis is the inability of governments in developing countries to regulate, manage and invest in water. Otherwise, the world will increasingly witness the new phenomenon of water refugees. Millions of people will be forced to leave their homes in search of water or because regional conflicts over water would turn violent as shortages grow. Rainwater has to be stored effectively to discharge it efficiently in times of need. Since water is most essential for sustaining life on Earth, water issues need delicate monitoring and careful handling. The basic nature of water resources development implies that although the government has to play a major role, it cannot or should not be handled exclusively by the government agencies alone. Common people should also be involved in this awareness program. Otherwise, we will be gasping and crying our throat hoarse within few days for water. 